Welcome back to the SMT YouTube channel. It's really good to have you guys here for this one. An important video, a network update from T-Mobile. First of all, I want to give credit to the OP, uh, Nikki T, for sharing this over on the X platform. He took this photo of the cell site for T-Mobile in Upper Saddle River, New Jersey. I'm not familiar with the area. Maybe you all are, uh, but that's his neck of the woods. And he spotted some upgrading and modernization going for T-Mobile. What he was able to identify, and you guys will see it, it's right next to the big antenna. I guess to the left of the big antenna, you'll see a brand new N77 C-band radio for T-Mobile. It's the radio antenna all-in-one combo. This particular upgrade is notable because we've all been asking, when is T-Mobile going to start building out C-band? Well, here is an example of them doing that. Now, it's, it's very important that you guys understand the situation. In this particular type of circumstance, T-Mobile doesn't own all of the N41 in this market. It's very fragmented in his part of the U.S. The whole tri-state area it could be like, you know, 180 megahertz in one area, and it could be 90 in another or or 80 in another. And and just recently, they actually boosted their N41 access with white space licenses, leases and uh, buying spectrum from speculators and those that you know previously owned it or leased it through like school systems and whatever else but anyways they have 40 megahertz of n41 and then a second 50 megahertz of n41 here so that's 90 it's obviously fragmented non-contiguous so you're not getting optimal you know contiguous spectral eff efficiency like if this was a single 80 megahertz channel it would probably perform better than the 50 and the 40. I've noticed that a lot of times uh, that can happen. Uh, so, But just, just in terms of raw throughput, it really isn't a big deal. But the fact that you don't get to that 160, 180, 190 megahertz of N41, it means that in a place where T-Mobile has a lot of market share, like Nikki T's region, you know they, they needed more spectrum. So that's why they bought C-Band there, and that's why they're putting it up. And my explanation of this is very simple. In places where T-Mobile has fragmented N41, this C-band is going to start being built now. This is going to be the focus area for T-Mobile. That, and I think also in places, uh, for example, where they sell a lot of the T-Mobile home internet and they sell a lot of you know, wireless lines, they have high market share, Like it's going to be imperative that they build this. Unfortunately, in my market, they don't have a lot of market share. Uh, there's no rush to upgrade the cell sites. They're already doing gigabit speed in the middle of the day. Now, there's one last thing I want to add for you guys, and I'll leave you guys on this note. Your phone, your devices, the T-Mobile Home Internet hardware, they are going to have to have the most up-to-date modems that can aggregate several 5G NR channels. For example, this connection from Nikki T, it's two N41s, it's one N25, and now it's N77. But there's places where T-Mobile is already moving band 66 to NR. You're going to have to throw that in there. What about the N71? That's not getting involved in this connection. It's going to need to. So you've got your phone, possibly, if you've got like an older iPhone, an iPhone 12, 13, 14, 15, even a 16, you're limited in the number of 5G channels you can combine together, what's called carrier aggregation if you have an s25 or the brand new iphone 17 you've got the x80 modem that's the best you could do i think that does four maybe five carrier aggregation i don't know if it does six yet maybe it does and you guys can tell me i, I don't think it does but it might but t-mobile has legitimately like six or seven carriers that are on nr right six or seven channels six seven you guys like how i did that 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 all combined together like, like this is getting serious. Like this is what AT&T has had a problem with, with all those little bits and pieces of spectrum. So you're going to have to upgrade your phone if your phone's already a couple years old, right? Especially if you upgraded two years ago, your phone's basically out of date on the T-Mobile network. And that's not getting any different. In fact, that's, that's probably going to get worse. But anyways, we talked devices. We talked about the markets where this is happening and kind of the conditions where you can expect to see the upgrades. I had a deeper dive on the Patreon page. Gave them the early access with the with the YouTube members, but I thought I'd make a video for you guys too. But let me know if you've spotted any N77, the C-band. Let me know what type of phone you have, and we'll see if we could sort out who's going to be able to access and how it's going to look and those kind of things. But let me know. Drop me some comments. Like, share, subscribe. Check out some more videos. We'll see you guys on the next video.